Hi, in this video, I will deploy a web app on Azure using GitHub Action. To do that, I will create a web app using Visual Studio 2002 and then push it on the GitHub. As a next step, I will create a web app on Azure and will connect it to the repository that I already have in the GitHub. If you find this interesting, please stay with me. First step, create a new project in Visual Studio. Web app. Next. Writing the name here. Next. And we keep using .NET 7. Create. Now I just go to the page. Index. And I change the welcome text to welcome version 1. Now let's run the web app. Here is welcome version 1. I create a new repository on GitHub. I create a repository here from the left hand, GitHub. This part you can create a new GitHub account or log into your existing one. Repository name, we took it from the project name and description you choose here if you want to have it private or public i remove it so public and push it's done let's refresh and here is their new repository which is public and here is the code we go to the portal to create resources. This is a free account. Create and web app. Here is we select our resource group. If you have existing one, you can select it from the list or you can create a new one. I'm going to create a new one because I want to delete all the resources at the end of the video. And then by deleting the resource group, it will delete all the resources name the name should be unique this is the address the url of your web app code dot that seven was the version the region north europe because i'm in the north of the europe so it will be closer the result will be the faster web app And I keep it as a free. Review and create. I'm not going to change anything. Create. Takes a little time. Then I go to the resource. This is the web app. Here is the address. We can copy and just paste it. This is a Microsoft template. And I can go there by browse as well. So I will go to the deployment center to connect the web app to our Git repository. Here from the resource, we select GitHub. And it says that it will use the GitHub action. You can change it if you want. And I have already signed it with my GitHub. If you are not, you just sign it here. And then you select the organization, which repository. This is my repository, which branch. And you see it .NET and version 7. This is the YAML file, the configuration for deployment that Azure created. Azure will put this in my branch and then save. It's done. Now we go to the GitHub. If I just refresh it, you see a new folder is created. If I open it, the YAML file is here. 
and now we have actions and it takes a little time I just wait until the end of that so it's done the build is done but deployment is not say deploy is was yellow so if I refresh I don't see the web app here because the deploy wasn't done yet so I test it again and now it's deployed so welcome version 1 now we go to the code and change the version from 1 to 2 and then commit the new changes to the repository on the github version and push since I haven't pulled the latest changes, the YAML file which was committed to the repository by the Azure, Visual Studio asked me to pull and push and I accept that. So it takes the latest changes and push the new changes there. Now if we go to the actions, we see the new action is run. We see the new action by all new changes. Now build is done, deploy is not, it's yellow so you wait a little bit the deploy is green as well so if I go and refresh I have the new version of the web app on Azure yes, version 2 so I did no publish on the Visual Studio everything has happened using the GitHub action now I come to the portal to delete the resource group if I open the resource group you see that this resource group has two resources and I delete this one Azure will delete all the resources so I copy paste the name and delete this take times now it's deleted and if I go here and refresh the page we don't have any web application anymore on the Azure I wish you enjoyed the video if so please like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you